Hello, Actosage here on the Sage channel, and today we're looking at some updates I've done to my mods. No, not to the marker, I'm hoping to get to some that somewhat soon, but no promises. Now we're inside the Sage station, which means we have a few more custom models down here, which I've made some alterations to. To be exact, the bed here, you can see there's an interaction area, and the desk here. Now, you might be saying that bed looks a bit strange, it's facing the wrong way, that is because to get these to work properly, I've had to actually flip them around, so if you used any of my custom models now, they're going to be actually backwards, I'm very sorry about this, you'll have to go in there and manually replace them, but something I did fix, if I was to go ahead and go ahead and try to place one of these, turn on mirroring fields, you can actually see now that the mirroring fields work correctly whereas in the past these would not have mirrored correctly it also works for beds so you can see the beer, beds mirror correctly I almost said beer is very strange anyway let's go ahead and actually show you what these look like if I was to go ahead and press T on that you can see you actually lay down in it your head is a little offset higher than I'd like for the life of me I cannot manage to rotate the head up down or left and right I can move it forward and back so it seems like it's about lined up correctly with the body except for it's not as far down as I'd like it and I cannot get the starting point to be looking up it seems to be wanting to look forward but anyway you can indeed lay down on that bed and it should be charging your energy because it's set up basically the same way as a passenger seat would be and so is this same exact way as a passenger seat you press T on that and your energy should be recharging this one it's slightly more unfortunate actually if I was to look to my right at the body yeah, heads drifting away. Again, I cannot for the life of me figure out how to remove the head to the left or the right or up and down. It's just forward and back. So it's lined up with the body forward and back, but not quite as far over to the right because this desk is built slightly offset. That way you could have multiple desks and you would be able to walk, let's turn off mirroring, walk in between them without such issue as you would have if they weren't, or at least that was the idea. You still end up colliding. Maybe I'll change that in the future. Who knows? Anyway, let's go ahead and actually show you Oh, I deleted part of a wall. Let's go ahead and actually show you what these things look like if we were to actually sit down and see them from the outside of our body. So let me fly up here and show you. So here we are, and I'll actually go ahead and place one of these down and hop in it. And right away here, if we press V, we can of course go into third person and see ourselves. Or if we would like to get a slightly better look at how we actually look in there, we could do an F8 and oh, fly a bit too fast, but there you go. Zoom up and be able to see, and we actually have our hands, at least on the desk. The idea being this would be a holographic interaction desk. Not currently functional, of course, but at least you get the idea of what it would be and why your hands would be placed upon it instead of just on your lap or behind your head or something. I felt that felt seemed like a pretty good position for your one's hands. Anyway, there you go. You sit on the lovely little chair and you use the desk. Uh, the bed is much the same. If we were to hop out, place a bed really quickly, you can see that if I walk up to it and press T, we hop in the bed. If we were to go into this view again, same thing, or if we did a wonderful F8, you can see we are indeed laying in the bed. And uh, I actually think it looks pretty relaxing. Anyway, that's it guys. These mods are now usable. You can go ahead and walk up, press T and recharge, lay down, all that stuff with them. Sorry about the camera offset, I am trying to figure out that's why it's doing that, um, that's actually the reason why I've only been putting out survival for the last week. Is because that's just what I've been doing, and for the life of me, <laughs> I could not figure out how the heck to get that camera to be sorted, and there was another issue that I ended up just flipping these around, that's why they ended up being flipped. Anyway, that's it guys, thanks so much for watching, I hope you like these mods, and uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you next time.